Minister, a report uh, published by HICWA this morning is a damning indictment of government health policy. The report states that emergency departments are now under what they call unprecedented strain, echoing the concerns of the INMO that our hospitals now face a nightmare winter. Last month was the worst November on record for hospital overcrowding. 12,624 patients were on trolleys. The HICWA report cites that one patient in University Hospital Limerick was left waiting nearly five days for a bed, and that's not a unique case. Every TD in the Dáil has stories of patients being left on trolleys for days on end. Chronic overcrowding creates dangerous situations, and HICWA particularly highlights how patients are often waiting far too long to be triaged for care. So it is Minister Donnelly's incompetence and inaction that is at the centre of this crisis. After two and a half years in office, he has failed to do what needs to be done. Firstly, patients can't get admitted because a quarter of the beds promised by government more than two years ago have not been delivered. Secondly, the Minister hasn't solved the delayed discharge problem. There are as many delayed discharges in the system as there are patients on trolleys. And patients can't be discharged from hospital because of the lack of community recovery and step-down beds. And thirdly, Minister Donnelly has failed to solve the crisis in home care. We now have more than 5,000 older people on home care waiting lists. This has been brewing for some years now and it sees older people pushed into hospitals and nursing homes when in fact they should be cared for at home. There are no carers available to them because the Minister has failed to plan a sufficient workforce or to address long-term pay and conditions issues which have harmed recruitment and retention. And at the same time, Minister, people can hardly see a GP anymore. This exerts even more pressure on hospitals and emergency departments. So if progress is ever going to be made, the government has to get serious about delivering the right care in the right place at the right time. This means urgently building bed capacity in our hospitals. It means rapidly increasing our community in step-down beds. And we need a clear plan to address the lack of GPs and deficits in primary care. And crucially, the government must invest in home care for our older people. Tasbon and Thurskol Hikwa and Yugar Horla and Ro Flodus and Usna Uspadel Gudirik Dwar Tepar Ara Donnelly Saflanol. Tep Umlon Ato Aun, Kuntila Lapaka Savresh Akur Air Fall, Augusto and Aspa in Estiak the Gorum Pubble, August Balia Akur Bru Erin Goris, Asadog and Irvorchi Trum Kushika. The government's lack of planning and lack of urgency in getting to grips with the bottlenecks in our hospitals must now end. So, Minister, I have a number of questions. Minister Donnelly has promised 51 additional consultants for our emergency departments. How many are now in place? For months, the Minister has promised an action plan to tackle hospital overcrowding. We haven't seen hide nor hair of it. Where is this plan? And Minister, can you explain, please, why one in four beds promised by government have yet to materialise more than two years later? When will we see these beds come on stream? Thank you very much, uh, Deputy MacDonald, for uh, raising uh, what is a serious issue for many people who are impacted by uh, overcrowding in our ED departments around the country. It's not every ED department, but in some the situation is quite serious. Um, the Minister uh, has of course read the HICWA report uh, and will respond to it formally in due course, but in broad terms uh, he and the government accept uh, the HICWA report and what HICWA is saying uh, in that report, in particular the points they've made around workforce planning, around management, around bed capacity uh, and indeed diagnostics and the type of individual examples that you have highlighted, that your colleagues highlighted last night in the Dáil are not acceptable uh, to the government and are not acceptable uh, to the HSC and so we do need to do better. We do also have to recognise that the 136,000 
professionals working in our health service are delivering good outcomes every day for patients across a whole range of specialties in cancer care, in cardiac services, in stroke services, in our maternity units and so on. And I know that is a given, uh, but it's important to say it and to put it on the record as well. And I think the context is important also. I know that last night uh, your party had a motion uh, before the House in relation to this issue and the challenges uh, that are presenting in our hospitals. Um, there was no mention of COVID-19, uh, a global pandemic, a one in a century event, the effects of which we are still very much living with uh, because COVID is still uh, here at this point in time. And it is, it is we acknowledge the case uh, that demand on services has grown very significantly because of COVID, because of RSV, uh, because of flu uh, and because of strep A and the difficulties that are uh, evident in our hospitals and some of our ED, ED departments are not unique uh, to Ireland. You'll be well familiar with the situation in Northern Ireland uh, in particular uh, and in England, uh, Scotland uh, and in Wales as well. And I know that the European Centre for Disease Control uh, warned earlier this week of the impact of COVID, um, uh, RSV and flu on health services right across Europe. Um, that said, of course, we have to do everything we possibly can uh, to address the situation. I heard Minister Donnelly last night uh, in engaging with uh, your health spokesperson mention University Hospital Waterford and the fact that come Saturday they will have uh, achieved 1,000 days without a patient on a trolley. And I believe the HSC need to examine very carefully where best practice is occurring and how that can be replicated elsewhere around the country. And of course, some of it will come down to investment, it will come down to capacity, uh, beds and staffing, but it also comes down to effective management. Uh, because when I look at this in the round, uh, I look at a budget in healthcare that is now 24% higher in core funding than it was in 2020. Minister Donnelly has delivered over 900 new acute hospital beds, 73 subacute beds, and over 340 community beds. Uh, critical care capacity, which we acknowledge uh, was not where it needed to be, is now 25% higher uh, than it was in 2020, and it will continue to rise. And we've had a 25% increase in the number of specialist palliative care beds uh, across the system. Uh, the action plan that you refer to uh, is the winter plan. It's fully funded, almost €170 million. Euro. Uh, the Minister, his department and the HSC are now working to implement that plan uh, to recruit more staff. A further 608 people will be recruited as part of the winter plan. We have increased the workforce in health by over 16,000 people uh, in the last two years, uh, the largest ever increase uh, in the workforce in health, because we recognise it is a priority. We have had to build up the permanent capacity, both physical in terms of beds and staffing, uh, to Minister. meet the demands of a growing population, growing complexity in terms of healthcare provision. Uh, we can and we will do more. Thank you. So, uh, Minister, don't reach for the, uh, the good staff uh, of the, in the health service, the 136,000 of them, um, to try and hide behind them. Uh, don't reach either for Tory austerity in Britain to try and spare the blushes that you rightly carry for your absolute failure in resourcing our health uh, service. Um, the, this minister, Minister Donnelly, has a penchant for, for plans, for launching plans and announcing them, uh, but very often he does not deliver them. And the winter plan was something announced quite separate from the plan for overcrowding in hospitals. I asked, where is that plan for overcrowding in hospitals? Clearly it doesn't exist. That's the only conclusion that I can draw. I also asked you about bed capacity, and you're currently the Minister for Public Expenditure. Riddle me this. You make an announcement in 2020 promising 1,200 new beds. Two years on, a quarter of those beds have not been delivered. This is a Thank crisis you, of McConnell. capacity and now. staffing, a crisis of investment, but above all else, a political crisis and an abject failure of leadership from your Time government up, and McConnell, Minister please, Donnelly. Sir. Thank you, Minister McGrath. Far from hiding behind the staff, we are standing with the staff and we are investing in the Irish Public Health Service. Uh, this government has approved a new 
uh, contract offer which has been made to hospital consultants. It's well recognised we need far more consultants in our system. Uh, we need them to be present at our weekends and we need over time uh, to remove private healthcare from our public hospital system. Minister Donnelly and his team in the Department of Health and the HSE have done an excellent job in delivering a package uh, that we believe has the potential to be a game changer in terms of the pr provision of consultant-led care in the public hosp hospital system. It's a matter now for the representative bodies to consider uh, whether or not they're going to accept that. We very much hope that they do. You mentioned about home care. Uh, 20 and a half million hours of home care support delivered in 2021. Uh, the constraint is not funding, the constraint is staffing. That's up about 17 17 percent. We've had a record increase in the delivery of bed capacity uh, in acute, in subacute, in community care, in critical capacity. And we will continue Thank to you, do Minister. more. Uh, we've increased the health budget, as I said, by 24% over the last two years, recruited an extra 16,000 new healthcare professionals. There are growing demands, but the Minister and the HSE do have a plan that they are focused on implementing. And I think we need a degree of balance and fairness in the presentation of these Thank issues. You very much.